Sabina Cox and I used to be a ballerina with the Royal Ballet and now I teach um, little ones, toddlers, um, toddler ballet and I thought we'd give it a go from home um, if you're new to this give it a shot it's worth a try and um, boys and girls and um, yeah we just sort of warm ourselves up and try a few little steps um, all really straightforward and um, I've brought my little ballet bunny to come and do it with me so I'm going to put her up here and she's going to watch me and make doubly sure that I'm stretching my feet when I need to um, so we'll start off warming up so if you find a space wherever you are in your lounge or your kitchen and we're going to put our feet together and our hands on our hips we're going to go one two three four one two three four five six seven eight one two three four one two three four five six seven eight star jump in out in out in out in fifth round we go in a circle waist and so if you put your hands out like that with your thumbs sticking out and then you turn them flat and then it should make like a perfect little cup so you kind of wrap your waist and make sure your fingers are stuck together so they're not like this holding my waist they're really tight together so I've got a really nice triangle shape there with that elbow and a nice triangle there and then I'm going to bend my knees for four two three four one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, out, in, out, in, out, in, out, in, fifth, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right, let's give it a go with the music. I'd love to see if we can some really pointed feet on the ends, good toe on the end, really pointed. Right, here's our music. Here we go. Good toes, naughty toes, good toes, naughty toes, first 
and out. First to second, first to second, first to second. Good toes. Oh, and your toes. All right. So your shake's all about, and with good toes, think of the ends of your toes being like your fingers, like you're pointing them, really stretching them. The whole, even if you want to, you can touch your toes and wake them up. Say, hello toes, wake up, wake up, stretch, stretch. We go like that. Good toes is really pointed and naughty is really flexed. So good toes, naughty toes, good toes, naughty toes, good toes, naughty toes, good toes, naughty toes. First position is right in front of your tummy button, all right? Second, first to second, first, to second, first, to second. Yep, right, let's have a little go. Right. Get some nice music going. Here we go. And good taste, naughty taste, good taste, naughty taste, good taste, naughty taste, good taste. Naughty taste. First, second, first, second, first, second, first, second, and good two. Feeling tall, imagine that there's a string in the middle of your head, it's pulling you up. Really tall, first, second, first, second, first, second, first, second. We'll do it one more time. Feeling tall, press that tummy button. Make sure it's really pulled up. Good, and first, second, first. You should really work your tummy if we're doing it well. That's it, shake it out. All right. Oh, getting us nice and warm, right from the very tips, top of our head to the very bottom of our feet. All of it warm, every single part of us, even my fingers, even give your fingers a shake out. Really good, and shake your shoulders and shake your head. Excellent. Right, my next exercise is going to practice our arabesque. I don't know if you know, an arabesque is like this, a position, and you lift your leg behind you. So I'm going to put my foot behind me, and I'm going to lift it up, like that and balance. We're going to practice balancing. So what I'd like you to do is go from side to side in your room. Okay, so we're going to go one and a two and step position, lifting the leg and down we go. Other way, one and a two and three and four and lifting the leg and down we go. One and a two and three, four. Lifting the leg and down we go. Balance one, two, three, four. Lift the leg up and down we go. So this is hard. This is to make sure we're balancing well. How about before we have a go, lift your leg off the floor, close your eyes. Oh, and try and balance. It's really hard. Lift your leg off the floor, close your eyes. Whoa, and when we do that, it helps us find our balance. And the key to it is to remember our tummy muscles. If we press our belly button, boop, boop, wake it up, and make sure we're holding on to everything that we've eaten for lunch or for breakfast. It's all stored up in there, nice and tight. It's not hanging out. So I'm gonna balance on the other leg. Oh, that's it, have another little go. Doesn't matter if we don't get it straight away. This is about helping us to strengthen our ankle. And our ankle is here. And if we have strong ankles, it will really help us to balance, especially in this exercise. So let's have a little go. This is our arabesque exercise. So, in summer is our song. we go, right, going side to side, and one, two, three, four, lift the leg, and lower, and one, two, three, position, lift the leg, wow, that's it, holding the leg, 
balance as well as you can. Step, position, the leg. There, good. And one, two, three. Good. Lovely, shake it out. Now, if we can practice to do it with a really straight leg behind us. So can you see my leg behind? It's really, really straight, like an arrow. That's it. There, and my chin, if you can see my arms, one's in front of me there, and the other arm is to the side. I'm looking above that one, my leg is behind me, and I'm lifting up the leg like that, in a lovely arabesque, that is called. And what do I have on my feet at the very end? Is it a good toe or a naughty toe? It's a good toe. So really stretching to the very ends of your toes. Let's have another go with that. Okay, do we think we can do it? Let's have a go. Right, I'm in first position, which is like that. One, two, three, four. I'm lifting up and lower to the other side one two two steps and lifting up and down here we go again one two three four lifting up the leg oh good balances last one i'm going through my first position lifting the leg it's all about. So arabesque is a, is a position that we use quite a lot in ballet um, but at the moment we're just going to try just a light lifting off the floor because eventually when we're big girls and boys we will be able to lift our leg really really high but we're just getting used to balancing at the moment on one leg and that's a really great exercise to help strengthen our ankles. Right next exercise we're going to practice some plies. Now, plies, if you look at your feet, you should make a little V with them. We're going to put our hands on our waist and I'm going to make little diamonds. So you can you see I've got a nice diamond going on there. So I'm going to do three diamonds. Plie and stretch, plie and stretch, plie and stretch and our arms open wide. Plie and stretch, plie and stretch, plie and stretch, and the arms open wide, and a plie and stretch, plie and stretch, bend and a stretch, and the arms open wide, plie and stretch, plie and stretch, plie and stretch, and the arms open wide. Right, let's have a go with the music. So plie are really important at the start of our ballet class because they help us with all sorts of other steps that we'll do in the rest of a big class. Like it prepares us for jumps because it starts from a plie. And then even when we're walking, we bend our knee too. So it's helping us to remember that our knees, our knees here, should be over our toes. So I'm not in a parallel like that. I'm actually slightly turned out and I'm making my knees go out, right over the middle of my toe, like that, and I'm feeling really, really pulled up. Let's have a go. So, my little plies. Can you feel the love?
lucky I've got my fingers really tight together. Third one. And up. Good. And shake it all about. So that should really help us. We should feel all sorts of muscles working then when we plie, like the inside ones and even, even our glutes, which are here. Give them a little prod with your finger. Boop, boop, wake them up. There we go. Our body muscles, making sure that they're pulled up as well. Yeah, as we pull up our legs, straighten, so we make sure our muscles in our body working too. Right, next, let's do some little frappes. So if you can find somewhere in your lounge that's got a surface that you can hold, like I'm holding here, I'm going to put my arm into a second position. Second position, so my first position is in front of my tummy button. This is first position. And this is second position with my arms. They're sideways. And I'm lifting up under my elbow. So I'm going to hold onto this bar, pretend it's my ballet bar. I'm going to stand in a little first position, like I showed you before, with my arm in second. And I'm going one and a two, three and a four, five and a six and a seven and eight. Jeté out. So this exercise is called jeté. And jeté in French means to throw. So we need to practice throwing our leg out. So really strong, almost like an arrow. Imagine your leg is an arrow and you want to shoot it out and shoot it out and shoot it out and plie and stretch. So that's the relax, the relax in the plie. And then I shoot it out to the side. Two, three and plie and stretch to the back. And two and three and plie and stretch to the side. Two, and three, and plie, and stretch. Now, the key also with our arrows is I can't do an arrow and have a really, really unstretched foot at the front. I need it to be really a good toe, not a naughty toe. This exercise doesn't work if I have a naughty toe on the end. It needs to be really strong, as though you're going to shoot something out to the side. Let's have a little go with the music. So, you're welcome. Where are we? Yeah. Here we go. a little shake and now if we can we need to make sure we even out the legs so I need to do it on the other side so I turn around and I make sure I'm working the other leg this time should we have a little go They should have really been pointing at the ends like this. Okay, now we're going to try some little jumps. Okay, um, right, so we're going to put our arms in a position called bra bar. So bra bar, if you put your arms in front of your tummy button and then lower them, that is called bra bar and it's a beautiful, oval shape with no angle so it's not too short and it's not too long just like that and then we're going to go plie and stretch 
stretch, plie and stretch, and plie and stretch, and arms wide open, plie and stretch, plie and stretch, plie and stretch, and arms wide open. And now practice our jumping. So on the end of my jump, you'll see that the, my toe is really, really pointed. We should have a go doing that. Bare necessities, where are we? Right. Plie stretch. Plie jump. Plie jump. to reach the ceiling we need to make sure we don't land like an elephant listen to this what does that sound like that sounded like an elephant to me we need to land like little mice and little mice make no sound at all so we're gonna, I'm gonna try and jump really high but land like a mouse let's see if I can do it Bend. still a bit of noise Come on, Sabina. That's better, isn't it? Can we have a go practicing landing like a mouse? That would be great. Now, we're going to do some skipping. I don't know if you've learnt about skipping, but the key with it is it's almost like you're marching. So if you practice your marches in front of me, Marching, marching, I've got a good toe on the end, because I've got really pointed feet. I'm lifting my knee as high to my chest as I can. I'm gonna skip like this, skip like this, skip around and just skip around, skip and skip. So I'm just lifting my knee, and as I step, I'm hopping onto that leg. So I'm stepping and hopping, stepping and hopping. We practice stepping and hopping side to side. Step, hop and a step, hop, step, hop and a step, hop. Let's have a go. I've got the perfect song for this. Let's find it. You'll probably recognise it. Here we go. Are we ready? Feeling tall. Right, let's 
have another go. Always good to practice our skips. our sides out and move across a little bit and this way there we go and reach to the sea and reach to the ceiling and down and one way bending over and other way bending over right let's see if we can do that now my challenge to you is to press your nose and try and get your nose onto your knees but without bending your knees so i've got really straight knees and i want to fall down like that and that should help me really stretch the backs of my legs let's see if we can do that so. here we go filming 
So we'll have another try next week and hopefully you enjoyed it. At the very end of class, what I always do is a reverence. And that's just to say thank you to the teacher for um, helping and um, we'll see you again soon. So for the girls, you can hold your skirt and your curtsy like that. And then you can curtsy again the other way. And again, like that. And again, like that. And for the boys, you can step and bow and step and bow. There we go. Thank you so much. I'll see you again next week.